In this week's episode, we discuss a brand new update to Final Cut Pro 10. Thanks for watching 9to5Mac. Be sure to thumbs up, click the subscribe button, and then enable notifications with the bell icon so you won't miss any upcoming videos. How's it going everybody? Jeff Benjamin with 9to5Mac. This is Final Cut Friday from March 22nd, 2019. Now on this week's episode, I really want to talk about yesterday's update to Final Cut Pro 10, version 10.4.6. Along with that, there were new versions of Compressor, a new version of Motion, and even iMovie got an update. Now, if you look at the change log for these updates, you're gonna notice that the majority of the bullet- Sorry, I can't help you with that. Seriously? Now, if you look at the change log for these updates, you're gonna notice that the majority of the bullet points are going to be bug fixes and stability related. However, there is one key feature that you should definitely know about, and that's the new feature within Final Cut Pro 10 that will automatically check for incompatible legacy media and prompts you to convert that media to a compatible file type. Now, this is all being done in advance of the next version of Mac OS. So basically, whatever comes after Mojave, whatever Apple decides the name, the next version of Mac OS, that version is going to drop compatibility for the QuickTime 7 framework, which all of this legacy media relies on in order to play on your Mac. Right now, Apple still includes the QuickTime 7 framework within QuickTime 10, I think it's 10.5. And that is what allows these legacy media file types like DivX, for instance, to play back on your Mac. So once you update to Final Cut Pro 10.4.6, it's going to automatically scan your library and check to see if there are any legacy media files inside that library. If there are, it's gonna prompt you to convert them right there on the spot. Now you don't have to do so right then and there. Apple also includes a new option in the file menu that allows you to check for incompatible media. So you can do that after the fact if you want. Now, when you convert these files, it's gonna convert over to ProRes, which is obviously gonna be compatible with future versions of Mac OS. Now, the reason Apple is doing this right now is because once that new version of Mac OS is released, that sunsets QuickTime 7 for good, then you're not gonna be able to convert at all. So you're just gonna be stuck with a bunch of files that you can't play back. So what if you have some of that legacy media? Should you panic? Well, no, don't panic because that's why Apple released it right now. So you can go ahead and convert that media over. So you'll be good to go on future versions of Mac OS. And then obviously going forward, you wanna make sure that you're shooting in formats that are compatible with Final Cut Pro 10. I imagine that most of you are. Now, Apple lists all the compatible media types on its support page, and they also list all the incompatible media types. So it's a very handy resource to go to. And here's another thing to consider. If you created optimized clips in Final Cut Pro 10, those optimized clips are gonna be good because they're already converted to ProRes 422. The original versions, if those are legacy media files, you'll still need to convert those over because those aren't gonna be compatible with future versions of Mac OS. I know that's a lot to digest, but here's what I recommend. If you're a Final Cut Pro 10 user, just go out and update. Update all your companion apps and then run the app and let it scan your library to check if there's any legacy media. If there is, it's going to prompt you and then you just click convert. It'll convert everything over to ProRes. Super simple, super easy. Now, of course, I could be wrong about this assumption, but I imagine that most users aren't gonna have much legacy media to convert over. But even if you do, it's a completely easy process to go through, uh, so you shouldn't have to worry about it. So one last time, just for emphasis, you wanna do this check with this updated version of Final Cut Pro 10 before the next version of Mac OS comes out that sunsets the QuickTime 7 framework because then you won't be able to actually check and convert because that option will be gone. So let me know, what do you guys think about Final Cut Pro 10.4.6? Are there any bugs that Apple squashed that you particularly appreciate? And what do you think about the legacy media thing? What's your thoughts on that? Let me know down below in the comment section. Of course, next week we'll be back with another episode, our regular episode with some tips and tricks for Final Cut Pro 10. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching and let me know what you guys think down below in the comments. This is Jeff with the 9to5Mac.